here we are. Had a little bit of technical difficulties, but we've got it figured out. Mm -hmm. Our camera wants to be on vacation already, like the rest <laughs> of us. Right. <laughs> Christmas uh, vacation. So we're just sitting here talking about what we got left to do for Christmas and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So Miss Kathy is over here to the right. I don't know if you want to pan out a little bit more too. <laughs> so there she is. All right. So we're all sitting here mm -hmm. talking a little bit about how much we still all have to do and mm -hmm. what we didn't do yet and all that kind of stuff. Right. Lot. What about you? How much a, you got to do? A lot. I know. I'll be up I gotta all... go shopping yet. Oh, I I have to go to the bank <laughs> to get money. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving everybody money and gift cards. Yeah, people like money. Mm -hmm. I, nobody's ever complained when I give them money. That's right. right. And then I just have to finish up a couple of um, pillows, and I'm all set. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Kath? Yeah, I still gotta do a lot of cooking. Cooking? I haven't made any treats mm -hmm. or anything yet. I know. To be honest, wow. like we we're supposed to do a little candy exchange over there today, and I brought all my stuff and I made my candy right there this morning. <laughs> your, you know, your chocolate peanuts? Yeah, oh, those are really good. Yeah, those are the They are day. really good, but <laughs> yeah. So hopefully they'll be set by the time we go home today. Jess and I were wondering what that was. We were fishing around. Yeah. Like, uh, who's making yeah. candy over here? Hey. We have a cookie exchange. It all works. Yeah, we're having yeah. a little cookie candy exchange going on. So if you have any questions for us, throw them in there because we don't have a long show today. We're going to talk a little bit about a couple things, and then we're going to show you the red, cream, and green trunk show, quilt show, whatever you want to call it. And that's what took us so long today because, of course, you know, we kind of did it uh, on the spur, and then, you know, <laughs> Kaylee's got to do all the cutting of all the boo-boos out and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. how did it sound? Did it sound okay? Not the greatest? Maybe not our best work. All right. So it's not our it's best okay. work. It's okay. Maybe we should do it one more time. No, we're not doing it again. I'm not reading all those descriptions again. <laughs> they can buy the book. So what right. is it like? Oh, the sound is a little bit off because it's a little bit too loud. It's yeah. a little too loud? You're I'm too loud? Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> turn down your volume. <laughs> I know I don't have the prettiest voice, but it's it okay. is what it is, right? You so it is what it is. People. Yeah. 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 Well, there were some, there were people in there, so I had to talk loud. And oh, were you next door? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but at least you get to see all the quilts and read all the descriptions mm -hmm. and all sixty one of them. They were all beautiful. So if you sent mm -hmm. in a quilt, we so appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. Next year is blue and white, so get ready for that. Mm -hmm. Blue and cream, not blue and tan. Blue and cream, okay. blue and white. Okay. Not blue and tan. <laughs> Just saying. Mm -hmm. Gee, Lisa, what do you mean by tan? <laughs> tan. You know, cream. Okay. <laughs> tan. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, you know, so when it when it's by itself, it's gonna look white. But if mm -hmm. it's if it's tan, it's tan, okay? Mm -hmm. Blue and white. Blue and white, blue mm -hmm. and cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had some tan ones. Not a big deal, but <laughs> this is tan. There that's you go. definitely yeah, tan. that's tan. So this is tan. So we had some yeah. that were a little tannish. So let's try to do, let's try to do um, blue and cream, blue mm -hmm. and white. Right, yeah, I do have a fabric line coming out. I can't tell you about it. I, I can give you a little <laughs> hint right here. I can tell you tomorrow. But look at this. That's all I can show you. <laughs> what I was working on while we were waiting to come on. Can you see it a little bit? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Can't show you any more than that. Behave. Santa's watching. <laughs> I'm way past. I'm already on the naughty list. <laughs> Me too. All right. All right. Do we have any questions before we uh, get going? What do you say? What do you ask me the question about the triangle or setting triangles, Jess? Um, somebody wanted to know if you were doing the uh, video for setting triangles, but she hasn't answered me as to what okay. she's looking for. All right. So Joyful is up here. So those instructions mm -hmm. on how I did all my finishing are on lisabonjean.com. Go to Quilt Alongs. Go to mm -hmm. Joyful Gatherings Quilt Along. Way down on the bottom is the finishing. Mm -hmm. I did give you a couple alternatives if you don't want to make these stars. Just, just briefly, you can make two and a half inch squares. You can do a square and a square here instead of this, or you can put a um, red in here. What one red, one and a half inch square instead of doing these four pieces on there. 
So there's a couple different versions there. I love seeing your versions that you have come up with. I like a real calm quilt. Mm -hmm. So I loved how nice and that's calm beautiful. this is. And that's why when we started off, I said to you to get eight yards of background, just in case, because I didn't really know. I planned on using a lot more lights that were in there. But yeah. when I was trying to use the prints in here, it just didn't look that good. So I'd rather mm -hmm. have something that I really love. And I love the mm -hmm. calmness. I love how this really stands out. Mm -hmm. And these are just kind of like the nighttime stars. Uh, somebody's putting these, I think, green. That was fun. I thought about doing that too, but I thought, no, the trees are predominantly green. I want red stars. Um, but yeah, I love how you do what you want to do with it. It makes it much more um, mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do want to point out that I did notice this guy right here. Point to that one, Denise. I turned the block. So you see how the skinny part's supposed to be on top and the fat part's fat see how that one's skinny oh yeah so i did turn a couple of these so see how this is wide here and that one's skinny oh right there. so you just i just turned the block i did two i did oh, it twice yeah. and i knew i did it but i still didn't think it mattered so i didn't rip it out and redo it so you can do whatever you want if you notice yeah. you do it but because the quilts or the trees are doing this jiggy jaggy thing they don't line up perfectly so you don't notice it mm -hmm. but i did the bottom one here and that one so those are the two I did. But I love how it turned out. I hope you like it too. Mm -hmm. I love working on Christmas quilts during Christmas time. So I mm -hmm. have a couple of things I'm going to be working on from Dear Santa yet that we didn't get done yet. So mm -hmm. I'm super excited about that. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. Santa. Yeah. I'm a seasonal stitcher. You're working on Santa too, aren't you? I am. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm going to do a couple of announcements and then we'll get with these girls right here. Let me know if any we have any questions on there. Teresa Kovit says hello to all. Hey, hey, Teresa. Hey, Teresa. We miss you. Yeah, we miss you. Can't yeah. wait to see you again. All right. So we have, do you have this on your thing? So it says, attention online shoppers, please pan ahead. Our website will be down for maintenance. The last day you can shop on our website is December 29th, and it is down until Friday the 5th. Wow. We are going to be down. We are going to have an inventory. We are going to be up and running in plenty of time. No, we, we don't think it's going to be that long, but we're going to, you know, not put it live until then. So mm -hmm. to get all of our stuff done and we'll finally have a POS system <laughs> after a whole year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> after a whole year. I'm talking about it. Yeah. Justin's over there yeah. knocking on the board. See how that goes? Right. All right. So just so you uh, know as well, we have Christmas hours. We are closed the 24th through the 26th, so three days there, my staff gets off. Mm -hmm. And then the 31st through the 4th, we are also closed here at Primitive Gatherings. We will be here doing inventory. Some of us will be, not all those days, but a lot of those days in January. I think first or second, third, and fourth, or how is that going, Jess? When are we doing inventory? Second, third, and fourth. Second, third, and fourth, we will be here, but we will not be. Our doors will be locked so we can get our work done, so we can start off 24 hopefully with things working properly and correctly and all that kind of stuff. Jess is knocking on her noggin. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I said joyful finishing is up. This is a PDF. Oh, all right. So that's on there. That's my corrected one and ain't the good one. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk about you guys' stuff for a that. Okay. So me and Kathy had a crazy idea couple months ago we decided to do a stitch along and we're going to use we're going to do the fabulous houses oh cat cottage garden cottage garden samplings yep and then kathy has started so this is the first month and this should be out now right um and we'll have it on the website tomorrow there. i think it'll go up okay and that comes with the floss and the pattern I don't, know the price. Mm -hmm. I don't know the price yet. I have not started. 2960 a month. 2960 a month. Okay. Because there's 12 different houses, right? Yeah. There are. Okay. Yep. The first we, one is Santa's house. The second one mm -hmm. is a castle. Mm -hmm. And the third one is a greenhouse. And then there's a cottage and a hobbit house and a tree house. Lots mm -hmm. of houses. Lots of fun yeah. houses. Yeah. The year of the house. And this lady is such a great yes, designer. The, these are so mm -hmm. whimsical and 
Yeah. Interesting. It is. And it's only, it, it, it's very small. It's 120 by 120. And then what kind of linens are you using? Or I, I'm using a linen. Um, I am going to get mine from Be Stitch Me. And mine will be a 36 count. Mm -hmm. Where's that beautiful one you showed me? Is that here? It is here. Okay. Um, the linen? Yeah. The, oh. It's uh, Ada. That oh, hand dyed yeah. silver, silver and white one. That's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's Ada. Do you have it here? No, you I didn't. Mm -hmm. bring no? it away. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we will be having a couple different options for mm -hmm. for the um, linens too. Right. Linen mm -hmm. or Ada. Right. Or right. they can they can uh, on the, on the block a month they'll get the pattern and threads every month and the threads are as kitted they're mostly DMC with mm -hmm. a few classic color works or weeks yep um, and so they'll get that and so then they can choose whether they want to use linen or Ada and what mm -hmm. count they want to use okay yep and you can stitch it all as one or you can um, yep. stitch each one individually. And Oh, and you mean they can go on one great big I one? I think if yep. you got one yard, the, the largest they would be, each month is exactly the same size, they're square. Mm -hmm. And the largest they would be if you used 14 count is eight and five eighths inch square. Mm -hmm. And this is 36 count, which is um, gonna be six and five eighths inch. Mm -hmm. And this is Kathy's. I didn't do this. I haven't started mine yet, <laughs> but she did a great job. And we're going to try to get some um, display options, mm -hmm. you know, frames and, yep. and some way to yep. display I talked these. To Chantel. That'll be neat. Yep. I talked to Chantel. She's going to. From 141? Yep. Mm -hmm. So she's going to get on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. So we'll, we'll. Have, so as we go on, you'll, you'll still come on and show the finished ones. Yep. And, mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. And maybe you could do a little something, something too. Yeah. Maybe we can do if, maybe like we do with Twilight Stars, if they post their finished um, house. Oh, that's a good idea. We could, we could send them something or, or we could put them in a drawing for something. Oh, that's a really good yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like giving stuff yep. away. Yeah. I did just, yep. yeah. So I do have a bag to go with it because I'm dot dot goose. If anybody was wondering, the it. bag maker, the bag maker, the bag lady, <laughs> the bag lady. Um, I made two options for this and I made this bag which i think is really cute it is super cute I love this one. fabric is it uh i don't remember okay. i thought <laughs> it's maybe perfect it's, for Santa's um, house, it's called so. wander lane that's all i remember okay. i can't remember who it's by so there's this one and they have choice of all different zippers okay. and i also made a pal so if you're unfamiliar with my pals it has you can put um thread in there see i got all my threads in there you can see that and then uh, also it has threads. I put needles on there. And then this is for all the threads because you get your threads on um, floss, floss drops. drops. Mm -hmm. So so you could just hook, you them can just hook that on the ribbon and then you'd have all your pattern or you have your um, floss all on the, on the thread bed or I call it a pal. So it comes with a matching pal if you want to pay, buy the matching pal. And then I, I'll have so this on pal, my... P-A-L? Yeah, pal. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody made that. How much are they? Did you say? Uh, the pal with the bag is 40 and just the bag is 28. Oh, okay. So, but I like the pal because then it keeps all the thread and everything all organized in the bag. Because if you put, you know, just throw your thread in I'm the really bag. I'm really good at that. Yeah. <laughs> See? So this way you stay all nice and organized. You know, I'm yeah. trying to keep everybody organized. Uh -huh. So there's um, this option. And then I also have this I like one. that. I like yeah. the silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is It's got good. some metallic in it. Yeah. Show mm -hmm. the backside. Yeah, the backside is. Isn't good. that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I like. And it's got silver. Side. I love silver. Yeah, and it's got metallic on there too. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I like that one. It is really pretty. So I'll have these on my on my website later today. And that's dot dot goose dot com. Yep. Dot dot goose design. Yeah. Dot dot, dot goose design. Oh my god. <laughs> like I haven't said that a million times yet today. And then this is the pal to go with that one with that fabric. Okay. So, Perfect. And it's got that little. A, I love oh, that. the shine, the mm -hmm. metallic wool. Yep, and I usually get my wool from Lisa. So yeah, mm -hmm. very good. So that's that's that. So I'll have this for this month and next month, and then sometimes I'm even. You need one for every month, don't you? Yes, yeah. you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I love it because <laughs> that's what a stitcher right. do. Right. I would just. Yeah. I mean, I seen all those people with all mm -hmm. those just project bags that mm -hmm. started cross. -stitch. Yeah. And how come they don't have the EBGBs like my quilters do about their unfinished products? How, how I don't know. Is? We don't. I you know? know. Like nobody cares. Okay. So next month, my thing is I'm going to put it, I'm going to, 
I, there's an app that you can get and you spin the wheel and I'm going to put like maybe five different patterns or five different um, uh, projects that I'm doing. And I'm going to spin the wheel every day and I'm going to work on it at least an hour. So what if it keeps spinning on the, on the, the um, same one, the same one, then you're going to get that one done. Right. Exactly. Right. Do I'll... you like being told what to do? I really don't. <laughs> no, I don't, but I, I, really I got to say, we're at least an hour. I want to work on it at least an hour. Well, why don't you work an hour on that one and then an hour on the next one and yeah. an hour on the next one? I could, the first but I, I know. Spread them out and get them all done at once. And then I watch, you know. Or you can do it like like your credit card. When you're paying off your credit card, you yeah. work on one that's almost done right. until it's done. Right. And then, yeah, that's true. I could do that. Like you put all your effort in the one that's almost done. Yeah. I could do that because I'm just really bad at it. See, and I don't mind having you know, 20 different bags. Full Not of me. I'd be like stitching on that one to get done. No. Stitching on that one to get done mm -hmm. before I can do the next one. No. I could buy it and have it ready. Right. But I don't think I could be like starting it until <laughs> that one was done. No. Everybody's different. But these girls yeah. have so much fun stuff coming up. Yep. Uh, there's another one that I for sure I'm going to do. That's the one that's going to finally, I think, push me over the edge and do it because they're only like this big. Oh, you could do that. They're only this big. Yeah. They're little ornaments. Yeah. I what can do they, that. Inch by inch? Inch. Yeah. I think an inch and a quarter. Yeah. Inch and a quarter. Mm -hmm. That's the one. They're going to do another one in a in a month or two. They're going to announce another one, yep. maybe. Yep. And uh, that's the one I'm going to do. See, I'll put that on my, on my wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one going to be on my wheel. <laughs> Uh, so how many of you are cross stitching too? I want to know. Raise mm -hmm. your hand or give us the flashy thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. How many of you are cross stitching as well? And if you're not, just, why not? So yeah, you know, right. If you didn't exactly. like the choice, you could spin it again. Yeah. See, that's true. Right. I could. There's ways yeah. of cheating. Yeah. Someone right. wants to know if the house pattern would be okay for beginners. Oh, it's it all beginners. It's all just full cross stitches. So yes. Yes. And there's not a, no back stitching either. No back stitching. Mm -mm, no, no partial stitches or specialty stitches. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think a beginner could do it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. If you're a beginner, I would probably do it on Ada. Mm -hmm. That would be the easiest. Yeah, that linen thing kind of freaks me all over. Well, but I did try it, it and I think yeah. I could do it. I did it. But I think you'd be okay on linen. Yeah. I think anybody would be okay on linen. You don't have the cross stitch you just gave us today, do you, with you? No. That was super cute. I should have showed that. Mm. Next time. Next time. Mm -hmm. When it's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't happening. Uh, I haven't crossed this in 30 years. I haven't either. Me I just either. started. Well, really. I just started a, a couple years ago. You know, really. the cross stitch group, a lot of them, they did it a lot in the 80s and 90s and then mm -hmm. they quit. And mm -hmm. so they haven't done it in, you know, 20 years or whatever. And you and and so they're all mm -hmm. starting to do it again and right. they're, they're bringing in projects that they started in you know 1988 and they're I finishing now i don't so have any started it's fun. right but you said that you hardly did any quilting this year right i uh, really i haven't no mm -hmm. i've been cross stitching yeah and you mm -hmm. went to how many retreats and, uh, a year? bunch i went to several oh, yeah <laughs> yeah we went on that one together that was about awesome. more than a handful I yeah i did yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this was the year well, of good the retreats. for you though right i'm mm -hmm. making up for all those COVID years that's yeah right. me too that's right Yep, me too. It was fun. But I haven't stitched. I stopped stitching because of the kids and the family. And then now that I have some time on my hands, it's nice to. So I just read, can you do a tutorial on how to stitch on linen? Is there a yeah, trick to it? We can. Not really. The The only trick is just you need to start next to a vertical thread. So you mm -hmm. just, have you just to, need to see where you just, you just yeah. need to figure out where the vertical thread is yep. and start. And then next you can decide that. if you're going over one or over two, right? Or how, how is that? Or I always, go, I over always two. go over two. Over yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We could right. You that. can stitch over one, but that that's another whole mm -hmm. difficult thing, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's too small. So while we're talking, can we talk about this yeah. while we're talking? Yeah. Um, we did this uh, pattern for um, Primitive Christmas mm -hmm. to put in the uh, the little joy frame. And I've had some people asking how to finish that. So I thought I'd just tell you real quick. It's not hard. So you'll stitch your little uh, cross stitch and then you'll trim it um, about an inch past all the way around. And then you take your, your joy frame here and you'll uh, lay a piece of mat board behind it and draw your circle using your frame. And make sure you mark the top because this isn't a perfect circle. So you want to make sure you, you orient it the same when you're done. 
then take your um, cross stitch and you'll run a gathering thread around the edge and then gather it around the mat board. Put a piece of batting behind it and gather it around the mat board. And mm -hmm. if you don't know how to do that, you can go back and look at the tutorial we did on the sheet pin drum. It was probably three years ago. Can you link that for them mm -hmm. at the end? Um, and that'll give you a good idea of how to do this gathering. Mm -hmm. Then once it's all gathered, you'll make another piece of, of mat board from the back and make it the, the size of this, um, the, the whole outside, cover that with fabric, and then just glue that onto your mat board and let it dry and then just push it in from the back and, and glue the mat board down. Mm -hmm. Simple. It is simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but looks really good. Yeah, it and does. and if you do it in two steps, where you make this and glue it to your backing, um, press that down and um, let it sit for half an hour with something you want to tell heavy. Where you got it. that joy from? That was a Hobby Lobby thing. And if you want one, you better rush over there because they've got them all on sale mm -hmm. now. They're trying to get rid of them, I'm sure, for at fifty percent off. The fifty percent off. They're sixty six percent off. Oh, now. right now. Yeah, wow, I'm on my way. <laughs> Cute little snowman face would be good in there. Too. Yeah, there, there are a lot of different things mm -hmm. you could do with that. Mm -hmm. So pretty easy finishing. Mm -hmm. Do you have a question? Oh, okay. okay. I thought she was <laughs> that, Is that a, for a beginner too? That oh, pattern? sure. This is very definitely, definitely for a beginner. beginner. Okay. That this was a, a really one. easy pattern. And we had that on the Primitive Christmas, um, and it's still available. Mm -hmm. Did you do it on linen? I did, but you could do it on Ada also. Okay. So if you want to start, try mm -hmm. a little piece of... Linen, yeah, that this would be, would be an excellent one. choice for a okay. beginner. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Great. All right, anything else you guys got to talk about? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, yeah. you can hang out. I guess got a couple okay. more things, and then we're going to show you the quilt show. So, of course, we have winners from last week. Twilight Stars. So our um, week 27 winner is Sandra Jones. I love your name, Sandra. <laughs> I just had to read 61 names and I probably murdered at least a third of them, <laughs> if not half, for sure. They were hard. They were hard. All right, Sandra, thank you Beautiful. for displaying your mm -hmm. blocks for Twilight and you will be in a contest to get your quilt quilted or mm -hmm. some money, whatever, or gift card or whatever we uh, said we were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember at this point. Yeah, it's 28 weeks ago. It's 28 weeks ago. So that's been a while. So if you didn't see this, we do have a program for the red, white, and red, white, and green quilt show that shows the winners and which quilts. Mm -hmm. This will be in your if you're in the quilt show. It will be in your packet if you won one of those ribbons. We will. Print this and put this in there. We will have a couple copies that don't have the winners on that we used. Like when people came in, we gave these out and we asked for them back so, to recycle them because, you know, unless you had a quilt in the show, you really don't need this probably or want this. So we might send a few of those out to people, but we will have this as a PDF download that you can print out if you want. And everybody that has been in the quilt show will receive our little patch here. Our quilt show patch and we do have these for sale too as well if you do want one of them we have you know maybe 30 of them left you know for five dollars if you came and loved it and you know want want a patch saying you were there at our quilt show we do have that souvenir patch for you let's see what else i have on my list oh we do have our subscriptions for the wool box and the quilt box up on our site that you can sign up for now however we will be doing a more of a kickoff at the beginning of next year about that because we have the quilt box is a starting new. There's not any ongoing projects in the quilt box. So we'll be showing you some of those things to get mm -hmm. those spots filled up that we have. And then, of course, the wool box is going ongoing. We have a two year project in that one and this will be year two. But you, you if you do want to join our wool box, you would be able to go back and grab those six prior blocks for the two year project. So mm -hmm. that's, we'll talk about that next year. But anything else? A couple people want to know when the quilt box will be going out. It's gone already, out already. It was only one day, the 21st, we got it out. Great job. <laughs> yes. Wasn't Wait, that great? Yep. Oh, yeah. So. I got mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're getting, we're getting better. We're getting better. Mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. We're going to 
tighten her up and be more ahead. And yeah, so the all the holiday boxes are out. All of the quilt boxes mm -hmm. went out today. They picked them up. USPS picked them up today. And it probably could have went out. We probably had them done yesterday, but we have to wait a day or two for them to come and pick them up. It's not like we can just, you know, load down the UPS guy when he, or the UPS, USPS guy when he comes. So um, we have to plan for that, but they did go out and we are, our, did we, how did our subscriptions go with those? Did that all work? There were some glitches, but they're working through it. Okay. Some minor glitches, I guess. Mm -hmm. So we're good, but yeah, we're almost ready to wrap up this year. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to have another live this year i think yeah. we're pretty much going to be uh that's sad holidaying it with yeah. you so we yeah. are not going to be back until next year mm -hmm. and probably on the 4th of january maybe or maybe not we don't know yet um <laughs> because i am not going to be here but maybe we can find where i'm at and i'll jump on but that would be cool yeah mm -hmm. yeah and we really don't open till the fifth so we might pick a day to do the live a different day next week, maybe? Yes, or two weeks. next year? Oh, next yeah, two weeks. if you want to do it the 5th, we could. Pro I could probably do it the 5th. Okay, so we might do the 5th, okay, for a live on a Friday. Mm -hmm. It's just too long. You know, I don't want you guys to leave no. me and find somebody else to hang out with. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Um, be Darcy and I will be in Tampa at Searsport Rug Hooking taking a class. So come visit if you're in Tampa. We'll be at Searsport. And so Nick says he can do the live for you. Oh. <laughs> That's what he says in the comments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you going to talk about, Nick? Fishing. Deer hunting? Because that's all you talk to me about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. Anybody got anything else? We've got some winners, Heidi? Uh, we should talk about that email thing oh yeah did well, you have that yeah I, I sent that email to you but we can all right hey i'll just i'll just bring it back up okay. let's bring it back up if you sent it to me you did all right okay so um one of the things we came across is um some of our customers were getting our emails late so they would say oh tomorrow is this day but they wouldn't get the email until it had already been passed and what she figured out was i'll read you the email it's from sue and Sue says, happy day, happy day. I figured out why I wasn't receiving the email or was receiving the email after the sale was over. I had decided I would unsubscribe because getting the emails after the sales were over wasn't helpful. But when I went to do that, I discovered there's an immediately and a daily option. And the daily was selected. So I changed it to immediately and lo and behold, today I got the email right away in the afternoon. Looks like I was causing my own problem. <laughs> so thanks for admitting that because that takes guts, right? To say that it's your fault that, you know, but that's technology for us, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're not getting our emails until a day later, go in the settings, try to unsubscribe and uh, change that option from daily to immediately and you will get our emails in a more timely fashion so the mm -hmm. sale won't be over mm -hmm. and when you're talking about emails you're talking about blog posts yeah so this is when you subscribe to our blog and where where we always put out all the information when you want to get to the nitty-gritty all the details that's where it always is and that's on my blog and that's lisabonjean.com mm -hmm. and once you go to lisabonjean.com you can go anywhere you can go to the gathering. Mm -hmm. You can go to the mm -hmm. website. You can go anywhere. So it's kind of a fun mm -hmm. landing page, mm -hmm. and it, it can deliver you where any you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. So kind of get used to that too, if uh, you're trying to tell somebody about our website, because a lot of people forget about the U.S. thing too. So mm -hmm. everybody tries mm -hmm. to put in .com for primitive gatherings, but we are a .us. But if you went to lisabonjean.com, you can go to right to the right mm -hmm. to the website as well. I have it bookmarked, so. Yeah. I just see your little face and I check it every day and there you are. All right. Awesome. Yep, yeah, that's what I do. All right. So short and sweet today. How long is your video, Kaylee, for the quilt show? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Cool. So hopefully uh, you don't take a nap during it. <laughs> All right. Thank you if you sent a quilt in. I hope we uh, did it justice for you. But our winners for today's live are Dory Singer, Colleen, Armgart, 
And Harriet Murray, you are our winners. Please contact Heidi with your address and she will send you one of her famous door prizes for our lives. And guess what? That's it. It's, it, it's Christmas time. Uh, the 20% off goes until the day after Christmas, so until the 26th. Okay. okay. Tomorrow is day one, so there'll be uh, you're not going to want to miss out on that one tomorrow. Okay. Can you hear her good? Can you hear me? Can everybody hear her good? Come over here. All right. So the 12 days of Christmas will end on the 26th. So we so have 20% off our site just about, Correct. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. It excludes uh, pre-orders, American Gatherings to Tilda. There's a few other ones on there, but it will go, the 20% will go until Tuesday, I think it is, right? The 26th. Um, tomorrow is day one. You're not going to want to miss that one. And I don't know. why are you looking at me like that? What did you do? <laughs> what you wanted to do. Oh, we were able to figure that out. We were able to figure out what I wanted to do. Yep. And okay. somebody asked about when orders would be shipping that were placed today. Um, they'll be shipped as soon as we possibly can get to them. Um, please remember that we can't guarantee for Christmas anyway, um, but we have to, when we do um, inventory, all orders that have been placed will have to be out the door before we can even start inventory. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. placed your order today, it's going to ship sometime next week, but we mm -hmm. have to get all orders out by the first of the year in order for us to do inventory. Mm -hmm. So that's the best answer that I can say on that one. Will and this be on the website too? Tomorrow. 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 Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So tomorrow the cross stitch will be okay. under a block of a month or subscription under our block of a month button, I think. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll shout it. I'll shout yes. it. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow. So yep. we'll let you know when it's on. Maybe we can give you a little text or something. Okay. Let you know. I'll do uh I'll do a uh a video. Will it be under the block of the month button? Should be, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Block of the month. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anybody got anything else before we say goodbye and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and all the things? Yeah. All right. Nice. Get your presents wrapped. Get your candy made. Yep. Right. I get to go pick up little yep. ones after this. Yep. See all the concerts and things like yes, that. Yes. I got yep. a concert tonight. Uh -huh. Yeah. Fun. Yep. Those are always fun. All right, everyone. Merry Christmas. Take care. Mm -hmm. watch, our, watch our trunk show or our quilt show or whatever you yep. want to call it. <laughs> Bye now. Yep. Love y'all. Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and it's it? time yeah. to show you the 2023 Red Cream and Green Quilt Show. So there's 61 quilts with 25 ribbons on them, so let's get started. All right, first off over here. And we are in the middle of the day here, right? So there are people here sewing and you're gonna hear maybe a little chitter chatter, but hey, we're doing the best we can for right now, all right? All right. So I have this book that we have compiled for all of the information about all of the quilts. And this will be a PDF that you can download off of my blog. Also, we will be putting it in printed to all of the winners. So they will get a printed copy of this. Everybody else, you're just going to have to download it if you want it. All right. So let's get started. The first one is number nine. And this uh, quilt, and, uh, you're going to have to forgive me if I don't get everybody's name perfect because I am not that great at that, but I'll do my best, I promise. So this one's called Christmas Mums, and it's by Ann Weber, and she is from Osh Ashburn, Virginia. And the pattern is Mums and Marigold by Joanna Figuera, and it was quilted by Cindy Luby. When I saw this quilt by Joanna Figuera of Fig Tree Quilts, I fell in love with it. I have always loved red, green, and white quilts and have made many over the years. In fact, one of my first quilting classes was a Baltimore album hand applique class. All right, good one there, and we loved it. Everybody loved that quilt, so everybody was kind of... There's, there's so many good ones here. I'm going to tell you that right now. It was so hard to pick winners. So if your quilt didn't get a ribbon, doesn't mean it wasn't good. That was a really good competition this year. We only had 61 quilts, but they were all great. And you will see that as we go here. All right, next up we have Holiday Stitch Along. This is by Jean Castle from Cashton, Wisconsin. The pattern is Holiday Stitch Along by Susan Aki from the Moda Bake Shop. And it was quilted by Jean herself. When I travel, I need to take projects that take up little room. Most of these 
our embroidery project. This one took many trips and cold winter days at home. Finishing showed me how much I do not know about quilting, but I do enjoy the process. Very nice, Jean. It is beautiful. Your embroidery is awesome. All right, we're coming this way. I forgot, we're going this way. Okay, we're gonna go 42 next. So number 42 is an awesome quilt. Cathedral windows, isn't it so beautiful? I so love this quilt. Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and it was made by Lorraine Conroy from Kitchenerville, Pennsylvania. And it was, it's a cathedral window, and it was quilted by Lorraine herself. The cathedral window quilt has always been on my bucket list. My original intent was to use this style quilt as a scrap buster. When Lisa presented the category for 2023 red, white, and green show, I immediately knew that I was going to use what was in my stash to make a red, white, and green cathedral window quilt. Very cool. All right. And number 20, we're going to keep going here, is Rachel's Tribute. Now, Rachel's Tribute was made by Sherry Sweeney of Appleton, Wisconsin, and it was quilted by her as well. This quilt will be raffled off in the August 2024 Darting Needles Quilt Guild Quilt Show. I wanted something traditional for this show, and after much searching, found Rachel's Tribute. Lisa's Joyful Gatherings fabric worked perfectly. The quilting is a combination of computerized and free motion. And Rachel's Tribute is a pattern by Pam Buddha. Isn't it spectacular? So it's really fun when uh, they quilt them themselves too. So this was a no brainer for a first place ribbon in the commercial large category. So we do have several categories and most of, we, we had like four main ones, but then it was just too hard to choose. There was too many deserving windows. So we kind of broke off a little bit, but, um, and added a few more in there. But so we did original design and commercial patterns and sizes is basically what we did. All right, so next up, let's go to number seven. So number seven is way up high here and it is so beautiful. Now number seven is Winter Rose and it got second place in the original category, large. So this is by Carol Molers from Green, Iowa and it's her original design, and it was quilted by her as well. I have always admired red and green quilts, particularly the red wig rose quilts. I love wig rose too. I designed winter rose incorporating one inch, primitive gatherings, triangles in the borders and sashings. The rose symbolizes peace, tranquility, and serenity. These are my feelings. These are the feelings I experience when I make the quilt. I used turned edge machine applique technique for the wig rose blocks. It is quilted with an all over edge to edge meander design on my Gamel Statler. The batting is 80-20 Hobbs. I quilted it with 50 weight Glide Egyptian cotton thread in the top, top and bobbin. The Joyful Gatherings fabric makes this 19th century favorite come to life again in the 21st century. Beautiful, beautiful. Now some of these here that you're seeing, maybe you're getting a glimpse of those are a couple of my antique quilts that we just used as decoration. But we're going to come on, move over a little bit more. We're going to start off with number one, really high up there. So number one, Liberty Star Noel, Carrie Cook from Appleton, Wisconsin. The pattern is Liberty Star by Adida Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts, and it was quilted by Wendy Fuller. The Noel fabric line was a favorite of mine, and so was the Liberty Star pattern. The two were perfect together. The combination of Noel and Primitive Gatherings fabric to make a festive holiday quilt. Happy holidays. Number 47. I put this one right behind my station there because it's so beautiful. I loved it. This one's called Nine Patch Square Dance by Luanne, Luanne Roberts, Cheyenne, Wyoming. The pattern is original and it was quilted by Eva Robinson. The inspiration for this quilt came from a picture of an old quilt book of my mom's, Grandma's Best Full-Size Quilt Blocks. The quilt in the picture is from Vermont, circa 1845. There wasn't a pattern for this quilt in the book. The picture was included in the section discussing period quilt history. I enjoyed the challenge of making a quilt without a pattern and having it fit together. So Luann got a 
third place in the original category for large quilts. Congratulations, Lu Luann. All righty, next up, number 31 is, guess what, a joyful star by Susan Carr, Huntington Beach, California. The pattern is by Adida Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts, and it was quilted by Susan Carr. And that's all the information that Susan gave us on her quilt, but it's stunning, and I absolutely love it. That one might not make it back. So, so Susan, if you don't get your quilt, you gotta come looking for it at my house. I love how that, what that did with the um, Joyful Gatherings line of fabric. So, can you girls show those two quilts the same pattern, but how different fabric can make them feel? So number one and number 31 are the same pattern. Isn't that cool? All right, next up we have a beautiful, beautiful quilt that has got two ribbons on it. So Reach for the Stars by Jody Richards. The pattern is from the Feathered Star Quilt Book from Marsha McCloskey, and it was quilted by Jody Richards on, for, in Virginia, she's from Virginia, and on her long arm. This quilt has been an eight month labor of love. I drew, traced, and appliqued the center before anything else. I then made dozens of flying geese and hundreds of one inch paper half square triangles. The natural next step was feathered stars. Yeah, natural, uh-huh. <laughs> they were so good that people thought it was a panel. I'm like, oh, heck no, those are pieced. <clears throat> so then it says, I began making 12-inch stars. I made nine and used four. Then I tackled a double feathered star. I made seven and used four. My original plan was to incorporate fabrics from the Joyful Gatherings line. I ultimately decided to leave this as an all solid quilt. In the end, the hardest part was the setting in the, setting in the 12 inch feathered star blocks. But look at how beautiful it is. It got a first place in the original large category and it also got viewer's choice. Good job, Jody. Jody was just here for Naughty and Nice and got to visit her quilt. All right, continuing on, 13, I recognize this pattern. This one is called Memories by Georgetta Komar from Waukesha, Wisconsin. It is our Primitive Gatherings picnic quilt pattern here from Primitive Gatherings, and it was quilted by Laura and of Laura's Quality Quilting. I'm not gonna murder her last name. <laughs> My quilt is called Memories. I was inspired by a publication called All Things Primitive. 2004 Backyard Quilts by Lisa Bonjean. Very cool, Georgetta. It's beautiful. Number 37. This one I recognize as well. Roses of the Sea, framed. Julie Meeks, Waukesha, Wisconsin. So this is uh, from a cruise that we went on. Center of the quilt was a project from a cruise with Lisa Bonjean in 2018. My friend gave me her quilt project so I could enlarge mine. So Julie took it and enhanced it with some more applique and some piecing and turned out so beautiful. All right, moving on, 53. Now I know that there's not space in here to hang every quilt full out. So some of the quilts got put on ladders if they were, um, you know, the same pattern over and over again. Those are the ones that we kind of put on the ladders. But these two beautiful quilts here, number 53, is called Cappy Love by Jean Waskowski from West Bend, Wisconsin. Heartfelt by the Fat Quarter Shop is the name of the pattern, and it was quilted by uh, the people here at Primitive Gatherings. A few years ago, I went through eight invasive eye surgeries and was left with a vision impairment. I thought I would never quilt again as I could not stitch a straight line. I gave away most of my fabric stash and kept only my favorite pieces. As I healed, my vision improved. I tried quilting again. I pulled out my <clears throat> Christmas fabrics and created this quilt. So happy I pushed myself to try. As I healed, my dog snuggled and stayed by my side every day. I named this quilt after her, Cappy Love. This quilt was stitched on my featherweight. Awesome, Jean, thanks for sharing that story because we all get nervous about losing our eyesight and not being able to quilt. So that's a good story to let us know that just because they say one thing doesn't mean that's the way it's going to be, right? All right, number eight. Starstruck, another beautiful quilt by Grace Greeton from O'Connell Falls, Wisconsin. 
It's called Starstruck by Dion Scott, and it's quilted by Joanne Dodd. <clears throat> I quilted the quilt in April when I saw the advertisement for the show. I chose to do the quilt as paper piecing because I really enjoy paper piecing. This quilt was a struggle for me to finish because I had rota rotator cuff surgery in July. Picking the fabric for this quilt was also difficult. I am used to choosing vibrant pattern fabric. This quilt taught me a couple things. One, how to more effectively put binding on, and two, how to do a four inch sleeve. This is my first time entering a quilt and I have made it into the show. Yes, and this is a beautiful show and we thank you so much, Grace, for bringing your quilt to us. It is super beautiful and we love it. Number 35. This one, I think, is Stephanie's. Yes, Joyful Nine Patch by Stephanie Ramadan, Brilliant, Wisconsin. Nine Patch Gatherings book by Lisa Bonjean and is quilted by Stephanie herself. This quilt was never supposed to happen. My first choice got messed up by the quilter, so I needed to make another really fast with less than a layer cake. That's all I had left of Joyful Gatherings. I tried something new, nine patches. My eight-year-old helped me with the fabric pairings and it went together quick. I had some scraps left over, so I made a stripe thing design for the middle to add more dimension. I tried my hand at simple quilting to finish the design. And here it is, Stephanie, and it is beautiful. So thank you for doing a uh, quick re redo and making another quilt. Number 36, look at that, 35 and 36 are right next to each other. Joyful Magic by Carol Rice, Springfield, Illinois. Pattern, a modified radiant star by Nancy Mahoney, quilted by Yvonne Carrillo of Zombie Quilting. Joyful Gatherings fabric was used, she says, and she has received a second place in the wall hanging category. Congratulations, Carol. All right, number five, I'll Be Home for Christmas by Linda Matsumoto. I'll Be Home for Christmas by Thimble Creek Quilts, and it was quilted by Karen Litvinchuk. I love piecing intricate designs. The tiny lock block ruler was so helpful in the block borders. All right, next up we have number 43, North Woods Christmas by Barbara Faber from Winelander, Wisconsin. It's an original design and quilted by Barbara as well. I wanted to design a wool cabin quilt block as I live in the North Woods of Wisconsin. This is what I came up with. Since cabins are usually primitive, the trees were cut out organically with no real pattern. Some of the trees were from my dyed wool. I made it a bit ago. Fun project to make. Merry Christmas. And for her efforts, Barbara got a blue ribbon, number first place for the wall hanging category. Full feathered star, Verna Van Der Zell from Hunter, Hunts, Huntersville, North Carolina. Full feathered star by the Fat Quarter Shop, border and quilted by Verna Van Der Zell herself. What goes better together than Christmas, red, green, and white, and my favorite block stars. I really enjoyed putting this one together. Thank you to Primitive Gatherings and Lisa for the inspiration and the opportunity to make it. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, number 40. Way up high there, Poinsettia Explosion by Sherry Smith of Greenwood, Wisconsin. Poinsettia by Melinda Bulu, Bula. Quilted by Sherry Smith herself. I saw a picture of this quilt a few years ago and couldn't stop thinking about it. When Lisa talked about hanging red, white, and green quilts, I knew I had to try it. It was a lot of pieces and I did it a little different than the pattern. The red boutiques were collected all over, even Arizona. The quilting I did with my new Echo Foot and I am very pleased with the results. Congratulations, Sherry. You have got a red ribbon in the applique category. So second place for her. Number four, Cozy Christmas by Joe Weinkoff of, oh boy, Exonia, Wisconsin, I-X-O-N-I-A, yeah. Oh, okay, so pattern is Trinkets by Lella Boutique, quilted by Diane Minky of Finishing Touches. My friend Laura Kaczynski and I were retreaters at the gathering in February 2023 when we heard about the red, white, and green quilt show. Laura said, we can do this. Then I accepted Laura's challenge, but procrastinated beginning my quilt. I had a pattern and fabrics in my stash, and then in September I went to the Madison, Wisconsin Great Wisconsin Quilt Show, 
in the barn door quilts display was her version of trinkets. I immediately said, this is my pattern. I went to the retreat in September 18th through the 24th at Hotel Hamilton in Hamilton, Missouri. I came home with a finished top, got my long armor, got it to my long armor, and was so happy with my quilt. Congratulations, Joe. All right, number 23 is called Rustic Christmas, and it's by Sue Drushke from Valders, Wisconsin. The pattern is Rustic Trail by Lisa Bonjean and uh, Alicia. <laughs> I think she's the one that did this one. And it's quilted by Julia Rockwell. My sister-in-law and I enjoy challenging each other. Each year we agreed to do a quilt for the show as one of our projects. Without a set pattern picked out, I started collecting fabrics. When the Rustic Gathering book was published, I found the pattern perfect. Rustic trails, and I have enough red and green and cream fabric for several more quilts. Nice. Then number 11, Ribbon Candy by Laura Krasinski. That happens to be the friend from two quilts ago. I was excited. Oh, the pattern is by Legacy Park by Legacy Pattern, and it was quilted by Diane Minkley. I was excited about the challenge. I found a pattern to use with red and green two and a half inch pre-cuts. This quilt was a pure joy to make. What I love most is Lisa always says, done is better than perfect. So I am very happy with my quilt. We all are happy with your quilt. It is beautiful. 26 is a feathered star by Grizzlane Mayville from Adams, New York. All Star Quilts by Eleanor Burns, quilted by Grizzlane herself. All right, love the feathered star. This is my third quilt and I love making quilts. Just got my long arm and I love doing the whole quilt herself, she says. Cutting, sewing, and quilting the top. I also enjoy your website, thank you. All right, so miniatures next. We're gonna come in here. All right, so a lot of these quilts got ribbon. 58 is called Mary Noel by Lori Landry from Menominee, Michigan. And you have met Lori on one of our lives. She was in here. This is my original design of a whimsical portrait quilt. I enjoy when I can combining plaid stripes and polka dot themed fabric in a project. Plus add a repurposed Christmas brooch, poinsettia bling, and glitter paint on the face. Congratulations, Lori, on your original mini third place ribbon. Next up, number 19. <coughs> 19, Christmas Tulips by Johnny Nottingham from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Pattern Springtime by Lisa Bonjean, quilted by Linda Hershka. No real story. <laughs> I made this quilt in the original black and white and really loved it. I was going through my patterns for something to make for this show that would work in only three colors. Found this one and love how it turned out. Congratulations, Johnny, on your second place in the miniature quilt category. Then 34 is that tiny, tiny little one down there with that big blue ribbon on it. So <laughs> this one is called Three Pines by Lorraine oh, Wigilowski from Pine City, New York. Oh my God, Tiny Log Cabins by Sherry Herringshaw is the pattern design and quilted by Lorraine herself. A while ago I bought Oh My Gosh, Tiny Log Cabins pattern by Sherry Hen Herringshaw. The log cabin blocks finish at one and a quarter inches. I started making paper pieced mini log cabin blocks. Once I had 64 blocks, Made, I started laying them out. Decided on barn raising layout. Thought it needed something in the middle, so I cut out some pine trees in various sizes. My friend Lori Dirk came up with the three pine trees. Loved it and went with it. I used Moda's Joyful Gatherings by Primitive Gatherings Fabric. So congratulations, Lorraine, on your first place in the original mini category. All right, 18 is next then. 18 is called Pineapple Circles by Kathy Blockat from Mancota, Minnesota. Pineapple block, unknown designer, obviously. And it was quilted by Kathy herself. When Lisa announced the red, white, and green quilt show theme, I knew exactly what I wanted to make. I just love miniature quilts and the pineapple block. With the three colors, the pineapple block creates a secondary pattern. The white creates a circle. Each block has 45 pieces in it, and there are 16 blocks for a total of 720 pieces in this little quilt. 
I added little. <clears throat> it took me as long to take out the papers as it did to piece it. I believe that. I reduced my stash length. I reduced my stitch length to 1.6 so nothing would come unstitched. I really enjoyed creating this quilt. And congratulations, Kathy. You have a red ribbon, second place, in the original category for the mini quilts. And then let's go to 52. 52, Tiny Trees by Edith Hubbard, St. Charles, Illinois. Tiny Tree Template set by Susan R. Martin and quilted by Edith herself. A quilting friend was purging her stash. A small kit, pattern, and templates were a part of it. I took the kit to a retreat as a fill-in project in case I finished the quilt I was working on. I was hooked on tiny trees with the first block. When the red, white, and green quilt show was announced, I instantly knew what to make with that fabric. The fabric is bundles I purchased at the 2022 fall sale at Primitive Gatherings. The setting is my own. The blocks are a pure joy to make. Congratulations, Edith, on your original mini quilt, third place. Then number 21 has two ribbons on it. All right. So Legacy Tree of Life by Jean Fisher from Manchester, Iowa. Out on a Limb by Lisa Bonjean. Quilted by Penny's Front Porch, Long Arm Quilting Service. When Lisa announced the 2023 requirements, I studied vintage quilts with a specific colorway. Specifically, I read American Quilt Treasures by Martingale. The Tree of Life quilt block intrigued me. Thankfully, Primitive Gatherings had a pattern I could use. Because I love working with flannel, I gained confidence after completing Oh Say Can You Sew. I decided to challenge myself. Eventually, each cardinal will have an embroidered date of birth and DOD to commemorate my parents' lifespans. A lasting tribute for generations to come, made in 2023 when our first parent passed at age 90. Well, that was beautiful that you had them for 90 years. All right, so Jean has won first place in the miniature quilt category and also judge's choice. Okay, then we have number 22. That one is beautiful, beautiful quilt. Colors of Christmas by Marcy Zipek from Nina, Wisconsin. Original design. <coughs> Wanting to make a quilt with red and white gatherings layer cake, I found a block called 5440 or Flight in EQ8. The block's corner four patches were too busy for me, so I changed these to half square triangles. This is the result. I used both traditional piecing to make each of the blocks. I like the secondary pattern of circles that appears when you look at the quilt from a distance. Beautiful, Marcy. The quilt was quilted by Lynn herself. This is the second quilt like this I have made. The first was scraps from my stash and went to my daughter. When Joyful Gatherings came out, I knew I wanted to make the quilt again. This was a free pattern on Temecula Quilt Company's website. It is beautiful and speaks Christmas to me. Yes, it is super beautiful. I love that quilt setting. It's kind of got that storm at sea vibe to it, doesn't it? All right, so then we're next we're going to go to quilt number 33. 33 is called Quilt Christmas Galaxy by Ann Bardis, Port St. Lucie, Florida. I know where that is. I went vacationing there one time. <laughs> Pattern, Woven Viridians by Ambers by Temecula Quilt Company, and it was quilted by Marion McCoyne. This pattern is one of a series of quilts inspired by the weavings of John Landis circa 1778. I wanted to make this quilt. I just wasn't sure what colors to make it in. When Lisa announced the red, white, and green quilt show, I knew. The quilt top is made of 3,305 pieces. The pattern calls for strip piecing. I didn't. Oh my gosh. I made it my own. Here's a little secret. I was short a one inch strip of my background fabric. I had to improvise. Hey, that's what they would have done back in the day. Now I'm gonna to have to look at the quilt and find it. Not to worry. Okay, but um, 33, you got a second place ribbon in the commercial large pattern division. All right, number 56 is called Cherry by Mary Louise, Mary Lois Hill, sorry, from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. Cherry by Helen Lindsay, quilted by Mary Lois Hill. Clusters of cherry stand alone in a radiant splash of color and symmetry. This quilt in 
initially began with only a picture on my phone. No pattern or designer's name made the pattern search difficult. With multiple visits to the print shop, a pattern came to fruition. I would call my creation berries, only to later learn from a great American quilt 1990 that the design is called Cherry, was created by Helen Lindsay. The 880 needle turned applique cherries and 440 leaves were relaxing to stitch. Persistence paid off and I will enjoy cherry for years to come. I'm glad you found the rightful owner. Good, good job in being a mystery sooth. Two, Mixed Emotions by Carrie DeCuster from Kokano, Wisconsin. Beads by Donna Jordan is the pattern creator, quilted by Carrie herself. To do a show or not, this is the question. I cannot say I believe in bucket lists, as that single is too much of an end in sight for me. I always wanted a Christmas themed quilt, so when Lisa said red, white, and green, in my heart, I was like, do it. But in my mind, it was like, are you kidding yourself? You're a newbie, don't think of it. I just bought a new long arm, so my heart said, do it. My schedule said, you're kidding yourself? <laughs> well, when you see this hanging up, like always, my heart won. I love my long arm. Isn't that spectacular? So Carrie got a green or a third place ribbon in the large commercial pattern. Sarah's Revival Revived. Joanne McPherson, Leo, Indiana. Pattern is called Sarah's Revival by Sue Garman, quilted by Kathy Witt Carden. I began this quilt while I lived in Hawaii, thinking it would be a five-year project. Ha, <laughs> many more years than that have passed, and I finally finished all the blocks for the center. Not wanting to keep applicating for more years, I designed a piece border. Also, since the paper cut blocks have a Hawaiian quilt feel, I substituted one of the original blocks for Hawaiian quilt block pattern. Beautiful quilt, and this one got best workmanship. Joanne, congratulations on that. 4,500 4, miles by Jessica Johnson, Larson, Wisconsin. It is a, an original set pineapple block by primitive, quilted by Primitive Gatherings. I was inspired to do this quilt based off an antique quilt I saw. I was up for a challenge and decided to do a finished six inch block. 100 blocks, 45 pieces per block. Each day I would goal myself with doing a couple blocks a day so that it didn't seem too overwhelming. I love the way this quilt turned out and can't wait to do another one. Maybe smaller blocks next time. <clears throat> this is under Commercial Piece first place. Colorado Log Cabin is by Julie, oh, Julie, I-D-Z-O-R-E-K. Sorry, I can't pronounce that, Julie. But she's from St. Louis Park, Minnesota, and the pattern is called Colorado Log Cabin, quilted by Barb Mellum. My friend Barb and I met in each of our first quilting class in 1988 at Edie's Quilt Shop in Minneapolis. It was our favorite place to hang out and learn quilting. Although Edie's no longer open, we are still friends today. In 1995, we took a class which features Trudy Hughes's Colorado Log Cabin pattern. To this day, it is one of my favorite quilts that I have made. Beautiful quilt. All right, number 60, I Love Poppies by Rochelle Zarin from Adams, New York. The pattern is Suzette by Stephanie Sims, quilted by Rochelle Jarin herself. I didn't know that, that uh, J looked like a Z, so Jarin. A friend in my quilt guild had done it with sunflower and Christmas prints. I had been collecting poppies for quite a while and thought this would be a good way to display them. Unfortunately, I broke my dominant wrist in May, so it is not as heavily quilted as I was like. I will do more when it comes back. I have lots more poppies and will do it again using blues instead of greens. Number 30, Theodore's World by Sandra Skinner, St. Clair Shores, Michigan. Pattern is called Theodore's World by Lori Simpson, quilted by Sandra Skinner. This quilt was designed by Lori Simpson of Minnick & Simpson and can be found in Martin Gill's Red and Green Quilt Book. It was quilted with a combination of ruler work and digital B2B patterns on an Innova M20 long arm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Maui, 
Oh my gosh. Molly Kalamikamaka. <laughs> All right, by Pat Pollock, Greenville, Wisconsin. A pattern is an original by Elizabeth Root Inspired, quilted by Sue Hiddle. After the Lahani fire, I had to make a Hawaiian inspired quilt. I looked at books by Elizabeth Root for designs using Christmas fabrics demonstrates the resiliency of the Hawaiian people. Maui Kalikimimaki Maui Christmas. Don't ask me to say that again. <laughs> the designs were drawn on folded paper, transferred to soft views, and machine applique. And congratulations, Pat, on your third place wall hanging ribbon. Carolina Lily by Dana Dorfler from O'Fallon, Illinois. Carolina Lily Classic and Vintage by Fat Quarter Shop is the pattern, and it was quilted by Dana herself. I collect red, white, and green antique quilts and have always wanted to add a Carolina Lily to my collection, but I've missed out on several I have tried to purchase through auctions. I decided I would make my own to add to my annual holiday decor, at least until I am able to successfully secure an antique version. I found the pattern on Fat Quarter Shop's website, but wanted to make a larger version with more traditional setting, so I adjusted the plan accordingly. Beautiful quilt, Dana. Number 32, Christmas Joy by Harriet Murray of Magnolia Springs, Alabama. The pattern is Frosted Poinsettia Table Runner by Lisa Bonjean. Oh, I didn't recognize that. <laughs> Quilted by Harriet Murray. I've always wanted to make a Christmas quilt with wool and strings. I used a fat quarter bundle from Primitive Gatherings called Utah Gatherings and added other fabrics. I love the string quilts and just played with the strips and arrived at putting the white in the center. Finished that, decided it needed a border, and of course, it must be wool poinsettias. I used Lisa Bonjean's pattern, Frosted Poinsettia Table Runner, as a jumping off point for my wool applique border. Machine quilting is not my forte, but I still had fun playing with this quilt and challenged myself to do so. Good job, Harriet. It is beautiful. Heirloom Rose by Crystal Gertz, another quilt that I have to have. So it is a pattern, Heirloom Rose by Bob Voss. Quilted by Kathy Swanson. I saw the pattern at Country Samples, Spring Green, and wanted to try it. Thank you goes to Lisa for her teaching us half square triangle papers. Yes, would never do that without it. Beautiful, uh, commercial, pieced, Second place, congratulations, Crystal, on your ribbon. All right, number 50, called Playtime. This quilt was super fun. By Joanne, Joanne Lazars from Keller, Texas. The border is inspired by Meadowlark Quilt, border by Lynn Hagmeyer, quilted by Joanne Lazars. This is an original quilt design inspired by the love of trees and people pattern blocks. I made several girl blocks, which my daughter affectionately calls the misfits, before choosing the two girls on the swings. My favorite quilt border is the border from Lynn Hagmeyer's Meadowlark quilt. The border was appliqued to this quilt too. I quilt as a hobby, and this is my first quilt show. Congratulations, Joanne, you got a most creative ribbon on your entry into our show. Shining Light by Jeanette Huddleful of Geneva, Illinois. And it was quilted by Janine herself. And Shining Light is by Jenny Smith and Kay Walsh are the pattern designers. My Shining Light quilt employs a combination of cotton linen and Batiste fabrics. I attended a virtual class through Quilt Folk magazine to learn the art of French quilting called Boudis. Boudis is made by hand stitching two layers of cotton Batiste fabric with channels. Cotton yarn is threaded through, can't really tell, channels and tacked inside so it doesn't show on either side. The quilt center is Boudis surrounded by four pot portholes. The red floral Back is Wisconsin 2023 Shop Hop fabric designed by Lisa Bonjean. To me, it has the look of a reimagined modern day toile to keep the spirit of French boutis. I hope I said that right. Okay. My apologies if I murdered it. Number 24, 
I have to learn all these French words. Christmas Star by Jean GB. I, Jean, I should, Jeannie, I should know how to say your name, but I don't. Star Shine by Julie Weaver is the pattern source, quilted by Susan Wilson. As soon as I saw the quilt in Quilters World magazine last year, I knew I wanted to make it as a wall hanging for my foyer. The original quilt uses very traditional fabrics for Christmas, but I wanted a more subtle holiday quilt. I love the way the center star extends into the borders. All fabrics are from my stash. It's a beautiful quilt, Jean. Next up is the grand champion. This is the best of show quilt. Do you think I'm hexy? Yeah, we love your name too. Lisa uh, Matchlin by from Ferdinandina Beach, Florida. It's original and it was quilted by Lisa herself. This quilt evolved based on available stash as we waited for joyful fabric mini charms. Perfect for the one inch hexes. Hexes are machine pieced, hand applique, and custom long arm quilted. Double batting of Quilter's Dream cotton and wool, quilted by herself. So, best of show, applique, hand, hand work, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilt. We loved this quilt, a favorite of many. Quilt number 55 is from Kathy Ninehouse it, from Oak Harbor, Washington. The pattern is Delectable Mountains by Kay Triplett and Lori Lee Triplett from the book Pioneer Quilts, quilted by Wild Phil Quilting. When I first looked at this quilt, I was in love at first sight. Stars, small half square triangles, and lots of negative space right up my alley. However, the original quilt requires hundreds and hundreds of half square triangles. I decided to make my version with one round each of the red and green delectable mountain blocks instead of the original version with two rounds. I also appreciate the more manageable size. While I was sewing all the half square triangles, I kept thinking about the skill needed to manage these blocks without the help of rotary cutter and starch, right? We wouldn't be doing it today if we didn't have some of those tools. So Kathy, congratulations on your third place in the commercial pattern piece. Quilt number 41 called Holly Lane by Sherry Smith. Holly Lane is the pattern by Kate Gentry, quilted by Sherry Smith and the quilting in the den. This quilt was a block a month at my quilt shop, hearts to hands. It came with the extra details. I had the long armor, quilting in the den to do the outside borders and I did the detail quilting in the blocks. This sold a lot of patterns and fabric. Thank you Sherry for this one. Number 17 is called Angels on High by Janet Damask, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It is an anter quilt design by Doug Lico and it is quilted by Diane Mink Minkley of Finishing Touches. I loved this cardinal fabric ever since finding it many years ago. Saving it to use now in memory of my mother and Nana, it's said that seeing a cardinal visit from a love, is a visit from a loved one from heaven. We've never had any backyard cardinals until now, and one will also cross my path in unsuspecting places. To honor both my mother and Nana, there are two special poinsettias made differently from the rest. This quilt is a wonderful reminder to me of their continuing love. Beautiful. Christmas Snowballs by Candy Coor from Fremont, Wisconsin. Right down the road. Hey, Miss Candy. Snowballs by Candy Coor, quilted by Candy Coor. This simple quilt was inspired by one of Lisa's antique quilts used in display of ornaments used in a display of ornaments. We could, own, we could make and take during one of her holiday open house events many years ago. I have always loved decorating for yearly holiday and this wonderful color combination works at Christmas. I machine quilted it myself with my favorite motifs, feathers. Snowball Pinwheels by Melissa Maguire, Santa Clara, Santa Clarita, California. Murguria, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at names. This quilt was inspired by Flying Geese Quilt Block. All year I have been practicing on how to make Flying Geese better. I did a lot of them which helped me make this quilt. I still have a lot more practicing to do. The material was picked out by my oldest daughter who loves snowflakes. Woodmeyer from Racine, Wisconsin. Log Cabin Hidden Stars by Pam and Nikki Lenat is the pattern and it was quilted by Pat herself. 
My quilt was created to prove to myself that I can do something a tad more difficult. This is my second entry into a quilt show. I have been quilting for several years, but never had the confidence that my quilt were show worthy. Made with one of the Joyful Gatherings jelly rolls and yardage, I machine quilted this as well as free motion on my sit down acoustic design. This was a challenge to create, but I learned plenty. And that's what you need to do, Pat, is just keep learning on every quilt that you make. Number 14 is called Cheerful Christmas by Wendy Yeager, Brookfield, Wisconsin. Pattern is Cheerful, March 2023, block a day by Pat Sloan, quilted by Wendy herself. Pat does a block a day every March, which I participated in. I saw with this pattern I could use a jelly roll. I have always wanted to do a red and white quilt. I still had a lot of fabric left over after 30 blocks, so I challenged myself to see how many I could make, which was 119. I didn't like the big square when I put it together, so they sat. When I saw this quilt show, I decided to add the green, and I loved how it turned out. Congratulations, Wendy. It's a beautiful, beautiful quilt. Number 44 is Tannenbaum by Debbie Chappell from Shepherd, Montana. The pattern is from Edita Sitar and it was quilted by Brenda Dean. I bought the Tannenbaum quilt pattern at Primitive Gathering store. I've always loved it and wanted to make it. My best quilting friend had the kit, so we decided to make them together. I love the scrappy quilts, so I made mine with lots of different fabrics. The border I added was from a quilt I had made about 30 years ago. The designer was Robert Callahan. The quilt was Grandma's Country Album. I remember that quilt. The quilt was custom quilted by my friend Brenda Dean. So in a collaboration of two quilt patterns, many fabric lines, and via a quilt, I will treasure for years to come. So congratulations on your applique, third place ribbon, Debbie. 54 is called Giant Evergreen by Colleen Foley from Richland, Michigan, who used to be living right here in Appleton. It is an original design and it was quilted by Pam Huggins. My Giant Evergreen was made by copying an antique quilt I pinned on Pinterest several years ago. It was from the website Vintage Blessings, listed as an outstanding antique circa 1920 blue and white. Loving the design, I chose my fabrics and the size of the triangles, which in turn determined its giant size. It is named for the towering evergreens near my home. Thanks, Colleen, for sending your quilt in. Number 10 is called Cherries for Christmas. Nancy Witten from Fountain Hills, Arizona. The pattern is Baltimore Album Blocks by Ellie Sinkavich, quilted by Nancy Witten herself. I made it's hand, it's hand quilted too. I made a number of Baltimore album quilts using hand applique and hand quilting. With this quilt, I wanted to use traditional Christmas colors. It is so beautiful. Thank you, Nancy, for sending that quilt in. Number 45 is called Shake the Tree by Sue Hiddle from Appleton, Wisconsin. And the pattern is by Barb Voss for Country Sampler quilted by Sue Hiddle. I saw the sample of this quilt and fell in love with it. After I signed up for the quilt show, I began looking for a quilt to make. I ran across this kit and thought it would be perfect. It reminds me of our woods up north. Beautiful quilt, Sue. We love it. Quilt number 38 is called Cactus Wreath by Gloria Farvor from Germantown, Wisconsin. A strip club design pattern, cozy quilt design by Georgetta Del Orcora, quilted by Laura I don't know. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. Sorry, Laura. I started quilting at Primitive Gatherings two years ago at a retreat by myself. A friend talked me into saying I would make friends because quilters are so much fun, but I had not quilted. And guess what? This opened a whole new world for me. At 75 years old, I am now busier than ever. I am quilting and visiting shops just in love with the quilt world. This is my first contest, and I am so excited for Lisa to see how far I have come in two years. She knows how I struggled with triangles. Isn't it beautiful? And yes, once you become a quilter, you have lots of friends. 51 is called Winter Manor by Cynthia Bame, Nina, Wisconsin. It is a Doug Lico pattern and quilted by Jerry Gerke. Simply Beyond by Judy McDonald, Nina, Wisconsin. Pattern is by Baltimore Album by Ellie Sinkavich, quilted by Virginia Smith. My mom made this quilt in 1993. She taught me the love of quilting and sewing. I am entering in her memory. She passed in February 2017. Oh, how I miss her. Thanks, Judy, for 
doing that in honor of your mom. All right, so that's it for our red, white, and green quilt show for 2023. If you wanna join us next year, we will be opening registration in 2024 and our theme will be blue and white. So that's all for now, we'll see you again. Thank you.